All right. So, hello. My name is Brian McAndrews, also known as Mr. Mick, and I am a teacher at Creative Arts Morgan Village Academy in Camden, New Jersey. It's a creative arts school. Um, and uh, I had an idea, because I've been doing a lot of online teaching now because of everyone being quarantined at home and doing online teaching with my students. And I teach, the way that I teach is, uh, since we've been at home, is um, I stream my classes using YouTube. And then I also have Google Classroom for the students to give me to turn in their work and things. Um, so what I was thinking that I might do for all of those um, people, those students that are home that don't have access to an art teacher um, or an art class, that uh, I don't, I don't think that um, you can participate in my classes. But what I'm going to do is, oops, sorry, my phone's buzzing there. Um, every day. I'm going to do a live, oh man, sorry about that, <laughs> Maybe this whole technology thing here. Um, but every day I'm going to stream a, a one hour art class that's for any student who is home and, uh, you know, wants to have an art class. It also might be the case that you, have, you don't have an art class in general and you just want to have an art class. Um, now, uh, so every day I'll stream a class. Um, we'll be looking at working on different things. Um, we'll probably focus a lot on digital art because I don't know what everyone has in terms of tools at home, like access to paint or access to color pencils or whatever we might have like in a classroom. But for the most part, if you're on the YouTube, you have access to uh, uh, some technology. And one of the things that um, I've been doing with my students is uh, you find a phone. It can be like I have this older Android phone. And I think I'm going to find the oldest phone I can find in my house. Is like here's going to be like assignment number one. Find the oldest phone or piece of technology you can find in your house, and you're going to make some art with it. And um, I'm going to find the oldest Android, like the, the my first Android phone that I had, that I still have, find it. I don't know if I'll be able to connect it. Like, I can connect my phone here. I've connected my phone. So that's the way the lessons are going to work normally, is that I'll do stuff here, and you can follow along at home. Um, I'll be on my phone. Sometimes I'll use an Android phone. I mainly use an iPhone, but I have some, like, like I said, my older Android phones. I've had Android phones, and for the most part, they're in a drawer somewhere when I'm when I'm not using them anymore, right? So, but they could be like you know, like I said, the original Android phone that's like um, seven years, eight years old. Um, I even you know I got really when I got into digital art, I was making on the making paintings, digital paintings on the iPhone and iPod Touch. So um, even if you have something like that, that would work, and you'd be able to do something, right? So. We'll use digital art tools because it's something that everyone pretty much has access to. Now, it's an art class, so you're following along, but you probably also want feedback, right? Now, this is a, this is a, I'm, I'm not sure if it's going to be live or what, but if I do them live, which I like the idea of doing that, I can't, YouTube doesn't allow live, I think, chats if you're a, of student age, which I understand for, you know, safety reasons, things like that. Um, but what I'm going to do is I have Google Classrooms for my classes that I teach. I'll create Google Classrooms. Oh, here's my school, just so you know. I'm a real teacher. <laughs> Creative Arts Morgan Village Academy. Here's my principal, Dr. Brockington. Um, very nice principal. Very good principal. And it's a very good school. And um, we're a creative arts school. And we have all the different arts. Um, so maybe a little plug for, for my school. Uh, if you're interested in art and live in Camden, New Jersey, and want to, to study art. Um, but uh, just so also parents who might be watching this can know that I'm a licensed 
you know, um, credential teacher. Um, I don't know what that means in terms of, uh, I don't think this can necessarily count for credit, um, but this your child would still get um, art instruction from a, a teacher, from a pro professional teacher. Um, so I will make Google Classrooms available for students who uh, want to participate and want to upload assignments and maybe even get a grade, you know, up upload a rubric and get a grade and get some feedback from me. Um, but the way you get a, a code for the Google Classroom is you have to have your parent email me that they want you to participate. That's my email, brian.mcandrews at gmail. That's my first name, but that's a secret. You're not supposed to do teacher's first name. Mr. Mick. Um, so you can email me, have your parents email me, uh, and requesting a code, a Google Classroom code. And then they'll get access. I'll make Google Classrooms for my YouTube class. And um, definitely for the time that I'm home, uh, working from home, teaching from home, remote teaching, um, I'll have a class that I'll do every day for an hour a day. Um, it, it might be later in the afternoon. I'm not sure yet. I, I like the idea of doing it live. Um, I think there's something about knowing there's a live person there versus a recording. Um, but I, I teach I teach my students basically eight o'clock to one eight in the morning to one o'clock pretty pretty steadily with with um, some teacher meetings in there too like remote teacher meetings. So it might be like um, 1 30 to 2 30 every day. That's what I'm thinking is like a time. 1 30 to 2 30 every day. I prefer it to be earlier in the day, but 1 30 to 2 30 every day. Um, we do a live class. We'd work on art. We'd have projects we're working on. Like I said, mainly probably going to be digitally, or there might be some other stuff like, you know, making art from stuff you can find around your house. Um, it'll be based on digital tools, but, um, you know, um, I am an art teacher, so they'll be based around lessons and students turning in assignments and having homework if if they um, choose to participate in the classroom and getting a grade um, so I would love for whoever's watching to um, and need you know would like to have an art class with an art teacher um, and it, it can happen every day unlike maybe some schools where you have art once a week and I'm perfectly fine like I'm I'm, cred I'm credentialed to teach K through 12th grade. Um, so I'm perfectly fine with any age participating. Um, I'll keep my content. Uh, the conversation might range all over the place. Um, I'll try to keep politics and things out of my out of my stream, but um, I might talk about art and other things that might be more geared towards a high school student, but nothing's going to be um, you know, everything's going to be geared towards students. Like I would handle myself in a class, uh, professionally in a classroom, which I tend to be goofy. I'm a kind of a goofy person, but um, I'm a professional. So if you are interested in that um, as a parent for your child, and I'm sorry about the, this is my, my uh, basement workshop man cave area. <laughs> so I have a place where I like, I have 3D printers over over there. I have some 3D printers, and I have some 3D printers in my classroom. So I'm I'm half technology dork. I'm a half art teacher together. So it kind of works well in wanting to teach from remote learning and using technology. Um, over here, uh, I have some where I do a lot of my like art making in general. Um, here, I have a special guest. <laughs> That's Pepper. Wait, I have two Pomeranians. Um, Pepper, Pepper is always in my morning classes now. I'm sorry if I messed the microphone up there. Um, I have a CNC. That's a CNC router. Kind of like cut stuff out of wood. I don't know how to use that yet. Okay, so a program crashed here. Um, so 
So there's going to be some technology and stuff, but mainly it'll probably be centered around making art using a phone, a cell phone, using some free um, art uh, programs. And the main art program that we're going to use is Autodesk Sketchbook. I think it's a really great program. It's a program that Autodesk has made for free. It's free both on phones and on computers, so you can even uh, get the program on Windows or Mac computers. I'm not sure about Chromebooks, um, but it might be available for that. And if student, if people, if students who are signing up for the classroom have Chromebooks, I'll figure out a way to use Google Chrome to to do the art stuff too. So I, I try to like have some iPhone stuff going on. I have some Android stuff going on. I'm gonna try to have some other stuff going on too. So everyone who's using different devices doesn't feel discriminated against, but also see someone making art in something that looks familiar to them, so they feel comfortable. Um, if there's any questions, you can email me, uh, brian.mcandrews at gmail.com. Um, again, I'm Mr. Mick, and I hope this ends up being useful for, uh, for all the parents and students who are dealing with being stuck at home and hopefully everyone's family is doing well but you know this this time period is very strange and we're gonna figure out ways to adapt and make it work and maybe even um, finding some to me this has been an interesting challenge of teaching remotely and um, figuring out and these are things that I can then probably bring right back into my classroom so maybe this becomes an opportunity for people to take this device this phone that they normally carry on them everywhere they go and realize hey I have a little digital canvas here that I could be painting with or drawing with or taking pictures and and you know expressing myself through photography or um, collaging and taking pictures of different things and combining them, you know, so we could do some collage projects, you know, kind of anything that you could do traditionally. Um, I mean, there's no texture, it's always on glass, it's always smooth, but visually combining things and painting, or like I said, collaging, or even you could sculpt. Um, there's sculpting programs that you could then take and 3D print. Um, we could even do things like that. I mean, I have 3D printers. If I have students that are signing up for my classes and they want to get their stuff printed, maybe I could mail it to them, you know? Um, so there's all kinds of uh, possibilities here. And knowing that I like to teach and I like art um, and knowing that there's students out there that want to learn and have time, that seems really great. And I'm, there's probably other art teachers out there that are doing this and, um, if not, you know, maybe some other art teachers get the idea to do this as well. Um, and I can even make a little video about it's really simple to, to stream this kind of stuff. So shoot me an email. Um, I'm going to go live, I think, 1.30 to 2.30 every day um, for a general, uh, for my art class, YouTube art class, which is open to anybody, any student. K through 12, whose parent emails me, um, I'll, I'll email you back the Google Classroom link and get you signed up. So thanks for stopping by.